Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Eden. Now this holiday season, the Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens is going and offering plenty of ways for you to find comfort and joy during the season. Kara Boyer is uh, the Director of Visitor Experience for the museum, and she's got some ideas on how you can have a great holiday season at the museum, either in person or online. So thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, so first, um, we'll talk about our Cummer shop. And I've brought a few items uh, today that um, are in our Cummer shop. But you can come to our shop in person, or you can also shop online um, and do curbside pickup if that's something that interests you as well. Um, but just kind of showing we've got very unique gifts in our shop. We've got um, toys. Uh, puzzles, something neat here. These are masks that are featuring works of art from the Cummer collection, the permanent collection at the museum. See, I like that. That's really cool because you give a little bit of some spark to when you're walking around with your mask. Right. Like, I'm not playing. Right. I'm feeling artsy. Your own style. Um, you know, glassware, um, kind of up front here, holiday pillows and reindeer, uh, fun, unique gifts. Um, so please, you know, come by either in person or online and um, shop our Cummer shop. Well, let's touch on some things that don't necessarily, it's like if you come there, you want to stop into the shop, but you guys have some things coming up. You've got a, a, an event or a, an exhibition, Illuminating Nature. Tell me about that. Right. So this is an event that um, we started last year, last holiday season, and it's one where we have glowing fabric sculptures Ooh. scattered throughout our garden. Really cool at night. Uh, we've got about a dozen sculptures and pretty massive. Um, so people can kind of explore the gardens and take in the sculptures. Um, we also have kind of bars set up, live music, um, even a spot where you can paint your own glowing face mask. I didn't need, you know, I'm kind of dumb because I wasn't thinking about when you're illuminating. I'm like, oh, you're just going to be illuminating some art. But, right. oh, no, you want to come at night and get the full vibe. Right. So these, um, these take place, you know, as, as the sun goes down. And um, we have them 5 to 9 on Friday night. Uh, this upcoming Friday night, and then next Tuesday and next Friday, 5 to 9, free admission uh, to come. We just ask that you register in advance because we are limiting the capacity, um, just kind of keeping, keeping a watch on that. Um, but really fun nights for the family or date night or however you choose. You kind of had me at free myself. <laughs> but right. and Now, with that, we were talking about the online experience, so people can still visit the comer from the safety, I guess it's the best word, of their own home. Right. So online, we've got an engage page that um, gives you a lot of good information on how you can kind of engage with us and, um, and keep kind of the mind working and active. And then also we are offering some virtual experiences too, like art camp for kids. Um, at the end of the month. So December 28th, 29th, and 30th, uh, we'll be offering virtual art camp. Now this is just an added incentive or an experience for you know everyone because you guys have definitely had to change up how you do things. Right. Do you feel like adding this online experience has opened you up to even a broader audience? For sure. Uh, we, have, we have done quite a few online lectures, virtual lectures, um, really you know, featuring artists and kind of local and um, abroad, you know, and we have seen our audience expand in a big way. Um, so we've really enjoyed kind of being able to put those offerings out there. So if you guys need a little something to do to get through the holiday season, especially once the kids are out, you want to check in with them, maybe check in with them online, maybe just come out and be illuminated on a Friday night. Please. What's your website again? Um, Comermuseum.org. All right, so that you can also look online and check out their gift shop if you're not going in person. We've got more River City Live coming up right after this.